there was a question asked on the community about uh, notifications in uh, Jira service desk. Now this question was asked by Paul and uh, the question is all about uh, customer notifications. How can we disable the default notifications that are uh, sent on issue creation? And he's also asking about, can we send our own uh, notifications based on, uh, let us say, a specific uh, request type, for example, or it could be any other condition. So you can do that. And you, the good thing is that you can also do it on cloud. So let me show you first on uh, cloud. So if I open my Jira service desk project, let us say this one, external service desk. And uh, I can directly go to project settings. So on the left hand side, there is a there is a link, there is a section called uh, customer notifications. If you click on it, you have the notifications that are usually there when you create a project with a template, I believe. And uh, these templates, if you look at, uh, uh, rather I should say these notifications, not really the template on top, but if you look at these notifications, these notifications are basically triggered on these different events. So the one that you want to disable is this one, request created. You can click on the toggle here to disable it. And uh, now it is disabled. Now you will not really, uh, your Jira service test will not send an email to your customers when the request is uh, created. But this particular request is for each and every issue type. If you click on the edit here, you have the option to send an email to define basically who will receive an email, um, customers involved, and you can have your template here. So this is something that you can uh, always uh, configure, but you can also disable it completely. So let me just uh, go back to the customer notifications. And uh, what we can do, we can also create our own automation rule. Now, if you click on the add rule here, and right now we are doing it on cloud, you can uh, maybe create a custom rule. Let us say you want to just start with the uh, your own customized uh, conditions. Now the trigger here is obviously issue created. Click on the add, but you have the option to add a condition. Now the condition here is, uh, let us say the issue type is equal to maybe incident or whatever. So you can select here type and uh, maybe you just want the, uh, the, the ticket to be raised for uh, all the new feature type of request. You can also also write your own JQL if you want. So you always have the option here. Click on the add condition and then uh, you can uh, maybe, uh, let me cancel this. So then you have to define your action. Now action here could be simply sending an email. And when you send an email, you can de define maybe your uh, customers involved. You can exclude the person who caused the action. Uh, up to you. You can define your uh, your template here, like the content, with some variables like uh, recipient name or anything. You can take a look at the variable. Uh, feel free to modify it uh, or make a nice uh, email template. And click on the, uh, you can of course do a preview. You can uh, click on the add button and save it. So when you have your own custom rule, now basically you can uh, use this particular rule to send an email instead of the def default one. Now let us go back to or take a look at how we can do, do, do this on uh, Jira server version, Jira service desk server, server version. So let me go to maybe my project. Let me do a refresh. And uh, the there is some error with the uh, with the connection, but anyways, I will uh, ignore it, and we'll go to the project. 
So if you now take a look at uh, the same, uh, I mean, if you go to the project settings and if you basically go to the customer notifications, things are quite similar. They may not look exactly the same, but they are similar. So you have this uh, default rule called request created. So you can uh, uh, basically take a look at this rule and you can disable it if you want. So there is a toggle here. Let me get rid of my face so I can show you the toggle button. So there is a button at the very bottom or not a button, but a enable or disable check. Save it. And uh, if you go back to the customer notifications, you can then uh, see that this particular, uh, oh, let me try to save it first. For some reason it is, uh, I think it should be saved. Anyways, uh, let us uh, go back to the customer notifications. So basically when you disable it, and uh, when you basically have to create a similar rule like we did on cloud. So let us do that very quickly, ignoring the error with the uh, certificate, but uh, you get the idea. So there is a link here that says add custom rules in automation, which is basically the same thing that we just did on uh, cloud. So add a rule, the interface is slightly different, but uh, you won't really find it difficult, I promise. So add a trigger trigger here is issue created and uh, add a condition. Condition is your uh, issue matches. And we are basically doing the same thing. We are basically using issue type. And uh, the good thing is that you don't really need to, I mean, there's no coding involved, although you can uh, um, do these things um, using other apps, for example, like, uh, I mean, let us not talk about, uh, let us not complicate things, but uh, basically what I wanted to show you today is that uh, you have uh, the automation rules that you can always uh, customize and you can always uh, use your own aut automation rules when it comes to, uh, especially when it comes to Jira service desk, um, because these automation rules are there within the project for you to modify and uh, take advantage of. So, um, this is basically all I um, wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.